The Delta variant continues to take hold. COVID-19 cases are rising at alarming rates. Some states scrambling to increase their vaccination numbers, trying to ward off the spread. One of those states up against it with the lowest number of vaccinated residents is Arkansas, just over a third fully vaccinated. I want to bring in Governor Asa Hutchinson. Welcome back to the show here. And Arkansas, it's my home state, ranking 48th, 49th out of 50 states in terms of vaccination rates. What are the very latest numbers you're seeing? Does that sound like that's still the case? And why, Governor? What is your answer to why you can't get those numbers up? Well, the Delta variant has hit us very hard in Arkansas, and part of the reason is we have too low of a vaccination rate. We're working hard to increase that. Uh, I started uh, community COVID conversations, which is town hall meetings, really for those that express some resistance or have questions to answer those with the right information, with medical information. And Governor, when you go to those town halls, what questions are you getting? What, what are you hearing from people about still being hesitant because some of this sometimes uh, has an issue to do with freedom and personal choice. And I don't wanna to be told I'm gonna to do, this is what I'm going to do. Are you getting a lot of that or still actually vaccine hesitancy? I'm getting both. Uh, you have some people that come that simply oppose to uh, the vaccine. Uh, sometimes it is uh, because they want more information, uh, but sometimes it's also because they're following and believing the myths that they see on the internet. It's just false, bogus information. At this point, knowing what you know, would you like to now see a mask mandate in place in Arkansas? Well, I think you've got to first focus on not the mass debate. That's a bad debate for us to have, mm -hmm. but we need to focus on getting the vaccinations out. We don't want to get distracted. But there is a case in the schools where they're not, they cannot be vaccinated if they're 12 and under. And that's where they need the flexibility for uh, being able, the local school district, if the, uh, if the uh, variant is high in that area to be able to uh, require masks. Uh, Governor, is it fair to say if you can't get somebody to take a vaccine, you also can't get them to wear a mask? Uh, that is fairly true uh, because a mandate, uh, one, you want to get a vaccination so you don't have to wear a mask. But now they're saying the best medical practice is to have a mask to prevent any additional spread. Uh, I think it's getting the debate uh, divided. But by and large, a mask mandate statewide would be not enforceable because uh, people can make the decision. Many of them have been vaccinated. Uh, and so, and, and we had a mask mandate previously. We've moved from that. So that would be counterproductive for a statewide mask mandate. It's tough to figure out what the solution is, but it's, uh, it's disheartening to see, and I know you're disheartened by the numbers uh, there as well. But Governor Hutchinson, we are, are certainly rooting for you and all Americans rooting to get this thing uh, behind us. So good luck, uh, and we'll check in with you again, but good to have you back here on GMA3, all right? All right, thanks, TJ. Good day to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.